we haven't talked about multiplying vectors together themselves because there's not really a nice um, one way to do that. There's a couple ways that we can multiply vectors together and have different interpretations. One way is to, to use the dot product. So if we have uh, V and U, let's say if uh, V is equal to AB and U is equal to uh, CD, then the way that we do uh, V dot U is, I'm going to write them out, A, B dot uh, C, D. We just multiply components together and then add. So we do A times C plus B times D. So this is how we do the dot product, algebraically. Geometrically, what it means is this. So let's say we have uh, vector v is this, and then we have vector u down here. So what uh, the dot product is, is what we can do is we can create a right triangle from vector u to vector v. So this creates a right triangle here. So we just draw down. And what the dot product is, is so we can create another vector out of this. So let's call this vector here. So where where the, the triangle meets, uh, that right angle meets vector V, we'll call this vector W. And the dot product is if we take vector uh, so if we do vector v dot vector u, this results in the magnitude of vector w times the magnitude of vector v. Now you might be wondering why is this useful? How does this relate? Um, and a, the usefulness of this is we have this angle in here, call it theta. This is the angle between vector u and vector v. So this, with a little bit of uh, looking at this a little carefully and, and using some uh, Sokotoa, because it's a right triangle, we can get a formula for the uh, angle between two vectors. So what this really means is, is we can write cosine of that angle between two vectors is equal to the dot product of the two vectors over the product of the magnitudes. So if you want to find the angle between these two vectors, u and v, we uh, need to find the magnitude of each of them, and we need to find the dot product. So let's find the magnitudes. So the magnitude of u is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus negative 5 squared, which this gives us the square root of 34. And then the magnitude of v is the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared. And this is equal to the square root of 4 plus 16, 20. So these are the magnitudes of each of the vectors. And then the dot product of the two vectors, so u dot v, we take, multiply the x components, so 3 times 2, add that with the y components, uh, negative 5 times 4. So this is 6 minus 20, which is negative 14. So we have each of these parts of the formula. So to find the angle, the theta, we have cosine of theta is equal to uh, the dot product, which is negative 14 in the numerator, over square root of 34 times square root of 20. Put this in your calculator, we get cosine 
uh, cosine of theta is equal to negative 0.537, or I should say approximately equal to. And then using inverse cosine, you have theta is approximately 122 degrees, uh, 122.47 degrees, let's say. And then kind of an, an afterthought, if uh, the dot product is zero, then that means when we, when we do this projection down here, that the, the magnitude of one of these, in particular the magnitude of this W vector, that, that vector along V that creates the right triangle, that magnitude of, of that W would be zero, which means this W vector wouldn't be a vector at all. It'd just be a point. And so that means that uh, U is actually directly already uh, has a right angle to V. So this means that the uh, uh, angle between vectors is 90 degrees. So we, we can't create that right angle because it already is a right angle, is, is the idea. And we'll wrap it up there.